What's up, nerds? I'm Wes with Neverboard Gaming, and today I'm lonely. I'm going to be teaching you how to play Gyrating Hamsters. Before we get started, it is important that I let you know that this game is still in prototype form. So some of the components, some of the rules might be a little bit different when it's on your table, but I think we'll be alright. So in this game, you're going to be collecting hamsters and forming your horde in front of you. You win the game if you either get 16 hamsters total or 9 from the same clan, which is signified by what color they are. Alright, so to start this game, you're going to shuffle the deck together and then deal 8 cards to every player. Just, you know, 8. Every player is going to look at the 8 hamsters in their hand, choose 3 to be their starting horde, and the rest are going to stay as your hand. Everyone's going to simultaneously reveal the three hamsters that are going to form their starting horde, and you're going to determine who goes first. The rules say whoever most recently had a hamster, or a guinea pig, or a gerbil, or a rat, or whatever animal you guys want to go with. So each player's turn is going to consist of four steps. Only step one is mandatory, but the game really needs to have the other steps if it's going to progress at all. So, the mandatory step is drawing two cards from the hamster deck, Step two is playing a clan card from your hand, which is any of the colored, just regular hamster cards. So I'm going to play an orange one there and just keep building this orange clan up. Step three is the option to play any card in your hand. So it could be another clan card, or it could be one of these action cards. And these are the ones that are really going to help mix the game up. Step number four is battle. So you have two options when you choose to battle. Option one is a duel. So I'm going to choose one hamster from my horde and one hamster from my opponent's horde, and they're going to go head to head. The way they do that is each side is going to roll a die, and whichever number is higher wins the hamster. So this I rolled green, so I'm going to win this hammy hamster, giving me two of them, and I just won a hamster from his horde. The other battle option is a clan battle. So I'm going to choose a clan, so in this case the orange clan, choose f up to four hamsters of mine from that clan and up to four hamsters from my opponent from that clan. And these two clans are going to do battle against each other, rolling as many dice as hamsters in that battle. So my opponent is going to roll two dice and I am going to roll four. Again, whoever has the single highest number is the winner. So in this case, I rolled two fours, a one, and a two, and my opponent rolled a five and a four. Unfortunately, my opponent wins this battle and claims all the hamsters in that battle. Now, let's say he had rolled a four, so four is the highest number on the table, we both have it. We'll both re-roll one dice, and whichever is the highest number in that re-roll is the winner. So again, in this example, my opponent is going to keep all four of my hamsters. It is important to remember that you can only battle after round one. All right, and that's Gyrating Hamster. If you guys have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment box down below. In the description box, I am gonna have a link to either the purchase of the game or check out the Kickstarter page, depending on when you're watching this video. Either way, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored.